inspiring other people, you know, to an artist, that means everything. It's, it's the reason why we do what we do. For me, art is uh, it's self-expression. It's a way to escape. To me, a fascination of street art, a lot of it's that thrill, that adrenaline rush. It's the most raw and natural form of art, in my opinion. I guess all us graffiti artists and street artists are adrenaline junkies. For me, it's what keeps me alive, it makes me it's a reason to get up, you know, it's, it's different from any other art form. It's not boring in any way. So I guess that's the main reason why I do it. For me, when I'm painting, whether it's on a wall out in the street or just in my studio, I'm at the most focused and most peaceful, you know, state of mind. Every piece I do, I'm passionate about it. I, there's meaning behind it. There's a reason for me to put it out there. I'll be drawing my stencil and be cutting and get done within an hour or so, but that whole time I'm just like, just antsy, just can't wait to get it up. I'm nervous, I'm excited. There's all kinds of feelings coming through you. This feeling comes over you, you're just, it's almost like you're, you're so free, like there's no boundaries, no rules, and it's, it's all worth it after that point. This friend of mine took me out one night and uh, showed me what he did. I was blown away by it, I was like, wow, I want to I try that. From that point on, it just, spray paint became my medium of choice. It's the most freeing experience, I guess. I think every street artist can relate with that one. It just feels right. I think it go both ways with how people perceive street art. Obviously you can't please them all, so you got those people that are very against it and they think of it as mindless vandalism. But then I've also noticed with street art, more people catching on to it and, and liking it. You know, they're seeing that it's thought out, planned out artwork that's displayed in the public. It's uh, exciting when you come across a piece on the street, you know? For me at least, it's, it's nice to see, you know, new work or someone's thought something out and put it out there for the people to enjoy. That's the whole point of street art.
The recent piece I uh, just got commissioned to do was on a neighbor's wall facing the street. Pretty much they're from New York, so they wanted uh, East Coast meets uh, West Coast. And we put the Twin Towers up and uh, I put it, made it like a memorial piece for the people who lost their lives on 9-11. Getting asked to do this mural, it's awesome, you know, and for someone to look at my work and want my work on their wall, it's a privilege. You put your work out there and you're wondering what the people really think, because you don't get all the feedback. To have one person come to me and ask me to paint their wall, you know, it's, uh, it's an honor. And uh, to show the world that just because you're using a can of spray paint doesn't mean you're a vandal. Spray paint, you know, it, it can create beautiful things, you know, if you use them the right way. I could see myself doing street art for uh, quite some time. For me, it's, you know, my love for the streets, my love to public art out there for people, that's what it's all about for me. You know, it, art's meant to be shared, it's not supposed to be kept to yourself. see new artists coming out every day. It's almost overcrowded in some places, but at the same time, I think it's good. It took this movement to get a lot of people into the art world. You know, other artists that have you know, done it for a while have never gotten noticed or never able to display their art. Street art is the perfect way to do that. Of course, I'm inspired by other artists' work, and. Uh, yeah, of course, when you're out in the street, especially L.A., where it's so, there's so much of it, yeah, you're seeing stuff where you're like, oh, I wish I thought of that, or I wish I did that before that guy. But at the same time, I, I know that, you know, I got my own thoughts and feelings and my own way of expressing myself, and it, I don't let it deter me from uh, getting my work out there. If you're anonymous, you don't have a, people don't have a face to put with the work that's being put out in the public. All they have to go off is what you put out there on the street. It's uh, about getting the message across, getting my art out there, and for people just to enjoy that piece. What is original anymore? It's almost like everything's been done, but if you really look deep, not everything has. There's plenty of holes and places for you to put your work and get your own ideas out, and that's what I look for. My main reason for doing my street art and the message I want to get across, I guess, is enlightening people and, you know, maybe possibly make that person's day a little bit better if they see something they like, you know, they're having a bad day and they, they come across one of my pieces. It kind of cheers them up. That's, that's kind of my whole point. It's just art for art's sake. I'm not into the whole politics thing and overpowering all the other street artists or other, you know, artists out there. I just want to create images that create joy in someone's life.